Good afternoon, guys. I apologize about doing my morning vlog, and the quality of the video was absolutely horrid, so we're going to try this again. Um, and this time, different location to see how good it works. I tested it a little bit ago, and it seemed like it was doing good, so we're going to... We're going to definitely go with that. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever part of the world you're in. Um, it is, I think, afternoon here, getting close to noon. Ziggy, volume to six. Ziggy, what time is it? It's 10.31 a.m. Oh, it's still early morning. 10.30 in the morning. There's a lot of people that aren't even up. How's the quality here? Is this better? I don't have the light on up there. And uh, so, yeah. Do a little bit of a bathroom light. There we go. Um, I am going to be watching the debate, guys. Uh, definitely going to be watching the debate. I think that uh, it's really important to watch it. Not so much to support CNN in any way. But I honestly want to see what the debate is and how they treat President Trump and how, uh, you know, in general, uh, everything goes on. You know what I mean? So we're going to figure it out. I've been drinking a lot of water lately. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because uh, my feet. They like to swell when I drink a lot of water, but I need to stay hydrated. So what do you do? You know what I mean? Do y'all like this angle? Does it seem better? I'm telling you, the quality was terrible. So um, I can't wait till I get a new phone. I'm going to try to get, um, I'm going to go, I think, through a phone company that's here. I'm fixing to get you, Nat. You are not going in my ice maker. I need to clean that water out and put some fresh water in. And uh, I don't know what's worse, gnats or flies. I think they're on the same level <laughs> as irritable. Um, but anyway, I'm planning on going with a different phone company in, in general. And they're giving away free uh, Samsung Galaxy phones if you sign up with them. And they've got some really nice Samsung phones. And so I was just like, um, I think that I'm going to try that. And they've got plans starting as low as 15 bucks a month. And that's unlimited talk and text. You can't get any cheaper than that. And their service is really good in this area. I mean, there's a lot of times uh, cell phone services you know, like crap shoot, pick and choose because we live in the mountains. And a lot of times it's, you know, you get good service or you get terrible service. AT&T works really good out here. Um, and then Verizon is like terrible. A lot of people say Verizon works better for them in certain areas and it's terrible in certain areas. Um, and then you have different cell phone services that work off of the towers with Verizon and AT&T. So it just depends. Uh, I was trying to think of what I was going to eat for lunch. I made those pork chops last night and I did them in the um, toaster oven and they were good. They were good. I made with barbecue sauce on it and then I made some, I had some leftover rice and, uh, Black Eyed Peas. It was really good. I enjoyed it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do for dinner tonight. I've thought about spaghetti. I think I'm going to make spaghetti. That sounds really good for dinner. Um, I've got a bunch of pasta, so I need to cook it up. And what better way than to make spaghetti and it could last a day or two. You know what I mean? Um, I think we've got a thing, the community ladies meeting at 2 o'clock today. So hopefully go to that, see what kind of adventure I'll get into with the ladies meeting. But I have an idea and I thought about posting it on X 
and I want to see if Lori has an opinion on it. Um, what do you think about me making a tag to Elon Musk and seeing if he'll do a town hall with uh, Bobby Kennedy? You know, he's subscribed. People, there's millions of people that follow Elon Musk. So my little account, 44,000 people, <laughs> probably he would not see it, but it might get a little attention. And so um, I think, you know, he did do an interview with Tucker. But what an awesome thing it would be to have a town hall open discussion and do it live on X with Elon Musk. I think it would be great. And he could go over his policies and he might do it with Trump. That would break the internet. <clears throat> <laughs> I think that it would be awesome to have a JFK, Bobby Kennedy Jr., and Trump debate. Just the two of them live on X. And maybe even have Tucker do it. I don't know. Tucker Carlson or Elon. Anyone to be able to do the town hall would be pretty cool. I think it would be awesome. <coughs> And what else is on the oven? Yeah, I'm still going to watch CNN. Um, and I'm going to stomach through Jake Tapper and uh, Diane Bash, whatever her name is. Um, I'm going to try to stomach through it. I, You know, it is what it is. I think it's going to be on other newscasts, you know. But I want to specifically watch CNN and see what they do and how they treat Trump compared to Biden. You know it's going to be biased. You know they're going to uh, mute Trump. They did a thing today where they showed how they're going to mute his microphone. They showed the whole nine yards of what it's going to be at 9 o'clock Eastern Time tonight. So I think Central Standard Time, it'll be 8 o'clock. I'm not quite sure, but I think it'll be 8 o'clock. I'm going to keep an eye on it. Um, but <laughs> I wanted to see what, how, how they were going to treat him. And, uh, the guy came on and showed all the ways that they're going to mute the mic, the reason why they would mute a mic, um, how the stage, they got the stage set up really nice. It's really fancy. Um, and then they're going to have a light, like a yellow light shining, you know, um, it, it, if you have some you know, if your mic is about to be muted or if you're running out of time. And I think you only get like two minutes, you know, a minute or two to talk. And then um, they showed to where the one candidate would be a little louder and you wouldn't be able to hear the other candidate. You know what I'm saying? He'll just be sitting here talking. You won't hear him. So, yeah. <laughs> we'll leave it up to CNN. Um, but it should be rather interesting, to say the least. Um, and I give kudos to Trump that he even bothers to come on there and endure the in abuse from a bunch of assholes. Would Biden go to a Republican deal and do that in front of a bunch of Republicans? Oh, hell no. So Trump has guts. And when you go into the lion's den, uh, you know, or vipers, I call it vipers. You go into the vipers den with a bunch of devilish vipers that are your enemies. And you literally go in front of your enemies to debate your enemy. Um, he's got guts. He really does. He's got guts. And I admire him for that. There's a lot of people um, that wouldn't have that bravery to do something like that. So I definitely admire Trump for doing that. Uh, like I said, you wouldn't see Biden going in front of, let's say, Fox News or Newsmax and having a town hall 
where it's completely Republican controlled. You know what I mean? I mean, and let's say, for instance, uh, Tucker Carlson or, um, you know, one of the leading hosts of Newsmax happens to, uh, you know, be the debate, uh, you know, the control guy for the debate. I think it would, you know, be interesting, but you're never going to see Joe Biden have that kind of courage because Joe Biden's a coward. He gets upset if you make nasty memes about him, much less um, he's put people in jail. He's had people put in jail for making a meme about him. So he he gets really sensitive and butthurt. Um, and so they don't mind it when they treat Trump like a piece of trash. But when it comes to getting it dished back to him, he gets really sensitive. You know, Jill has to go in there and put that cornstarch in his diaper because he gets a real built-up rash in the rear end. <laughs> but that is what it is. Um, but we shall definitely see how they treat Trump and how different it'll be. And um, CNN has already put uh, a bid in on YouTube and you cannot do any commentary. You cannot do it live. Uh, they'll take your life down. So if you plan on going live and broadcasting the debate, I would strongly recommend you not do it because they have a fair use block. Y'all know what that is? Fair use block. That means that you cannot do any kind of commentary on any of their content. It will be removed off of YouTube. And this is a way they're trapping people and getting their accounts removed. Okay, they know this is going to be a big magnet for MAGA. And so they want MAGA to try to break the rules and they want them to try to, you know, do commentary on the debate. And I'm telling you guys, don't do it. You know, watch the debate and talk about it afterwards. Just don't use any of the CNN content. But first of all, you don't want to give any attraction to CNN. Second of all, um, it's not worth your account being flagged, okay? Because as far as CNN is concerned, they don't give a two rips about you, especially if you're conservative. So I'm just really telling y'all guys, well, <laughs> I don't want to be intimidated by anyone. Um, when you have that copy strike on your account, it won't be anything about intimidation. And that stays with your account. Okay? So I'm just telling you guys, as a courtesy to you, don't do it. Just watch the debate and talk about it. I've already seen several people who've got streams already prepared, and it says Trump-Biden debate live. And I'm just like, okay, you want to be that stupid, go right ahead. <laughs> I'm just telling you, YouTube has its own rules. Now, I don't know about um, Rumble or any of the other places. You know what I mean? Um, you may be able to do it live there. I'm not sure. I don't know if they have the same, same thing or not. I know Rumble still has to follow uh, copyright laws just as any other website. So I'm pretty sure that CNN has covered their grounds where copyright is concerned. So just FYI, <laughs> do what you want to do. It's your channel. Um, other than that, that's about it, guys. Hopefully you have a great rest of your afternoon. I am looking forward to watching this debate and I definitely want y'all's opinions about the uh, Elon Musk thing and X and doing a town hall with Bobby Kennedy and Trump.
sometime in the near future, you know, Trump, uh, I think it wouldn't be any kind of challenge for Trump, but I still think that it would be a good debate. And they could stand up there and do no teleprompter, you know, and just uh, have a one-on-one, you know, with their policies and look at their personality and uh, who who's a better fit, you know, at least they give an opportunity, you know what I'm saying, than just having the two candidates, you know. I don't know what it is, but the mats are out today. I think it's the rain. I think that rain that we had really brought the gnats out, unfortunately. What, what do you do about it? <laughs> but... Um, to that note, I'm going to let you guys go. I cut up a bunch of my apples today, put them in the freezer, like I said. I cut up a bunch of peaches, put them in the freezer. Um, and that way I have them for, like, smoothies and stuff. That I, uh, usually when I get bananas, I'll cut my bananas up and I'll put them in the freezer. And you can just pull them out and stick them in your deal and make fruit smoothies. And I was thinking about making some blueberry pancakes for breakfast, which is still pretty early i can make breakfast make a little bit of bacon and uh blueberry pancakes i hadn't had pancakes in a long while so that actually sounds really yummy but to that note i'm gonna let you guys go and i'm gonna try to get these gnats might just try to spray over here see if that helps somebody told me vinegar works i don't know what do y'all think how do you think you can control gnats without using a bunch of chemicals Let me know in the comments below, too. All right. Take care, guys.